Okay, welcome to another Sniper Side Interactive video. Today we're going to talk about a, a little product here uh, we just got from the guys at Adaptive. They came out with a field density calculator. Um, this is a great new product that just came out. People are always talking, you know, how do we do this without batteries? You know, we, we have our PDAs and, and we have things like Kestrels. Uh, so they always want to know, well, what happens if that breaks? What do I do? Well, like the Mill Dot Master that came before this, this is a real good idea. Um, we're out here, uh, Byers, Colorado, a uh, pretty warm uh, summer day. And so we're going to try to match the adaptive product up to our PDA with some practical application and see how that works out. So uh, let's get going. All right, the first thing we're going to do for reference here is we're going to look at our Kestrel. Now, we're going to kind of go off the assumption we don't have a Kestrel, but we're going to use it to sort of match up our data. Um, the barometric pressure here is 2486. The temperature is 85, 86 degrees right now. And our density altitude, according to this, is about 7,900. So uh, that's what the bullet is going to think that it, you know where it's flying even though we're at uh, 5300 feet here the bullet thinks it's at almost 8000 feet so uh, that's an important point to know now we're going to take the chart on the adaptive and we're going to go over and we're going to say okay about 90 degrees here and we're going to go up to about 6000 feet because it's a little bit in between so we're going to go up to there and that's going to give us a DA at about 7000 which it, it's pretty darn close off of what the Kestrel's saying. So all we simply do is bring our chart over to the 7,000 mark. We're shooting at 550 yards. 550 yards is telling us 3.5 mils. Now for your MOA guys, the green side is your MOA side. So flip it around, same thing, 550. We're talking 12.1 mils. We're going off the, uh, our MOA we're going off the mill side, so we're using 3.5. Now, quick comparison, I have the field firing solution, the Ashbury version, the tactical version, and I put in all my parameters, uh, muzzle velocity, 28, uh, 2685. I have all uh, these uh, information from our Kestrel here. We hit the calculate, and we get 3.5 mils. So this is matching up to the field firing solution. Yeah. You know, you could expect things to be off a tenth or so, maybe even two tenths of a mil. Not a big deal. You'll see that in any ballistic program. To have a device like this with no batteries, to be that on uh, is, is excellent for in the field. Last little point before we go shoot this. If we take a look at this and we know what our altitude is, we're going to know where we are. Um, you could just take your watch, and I have my watch set up. It's telling me 90 degrees on my... Uh, observer here so I know it's 90 degrees because my watch is telling me that I'm gonna go up I know I'm at just about uh, between five and six thousand feet so I'm gonna go there and again it takes me over to the uh, seven so uh, I can do this with just what I have uh, knowing where I am and having my watch on I can get the information I need to give me some dope for my rifle uh, this is the um, 175 Sierra Match King based on 2700 feet per second. Uh, my rifle's going about 2685, so that's why I have the 2700 in there, and we're going to go shoot it right now. Okay, we're going to load up a couple rounds. We got 3.5 dialed in on the rifle, so uh, we'll take a look and see what that does. Stout wind today, a bit over 10 miles an hour. Right on. Okay, the density altitude compensator from Adaptive, right on the money, uh, matching up to our ballistic calculator. So. Here you have no batteries, 
uh, small, light, able to use in the field, waterproof. You can get multiple calibers, and it's mill as well as MOA. Adapted. Thank <laughs> you.